All right, guys, so it wasn't long before we're back at Baggin. What we're doing today is we are making a trail load of bees. So we have all these tote bags here uh, that have the smaller size potatoes in them. So what we're doing is we're sizing them out into two different uh, tote bags, basically. We've got our little ones and then we've got our medium sized ones. So little ones are gonna go in a trail load and then the other ones we're gonna bag into 50s, uh, but we're gonna put them in tote bags for right now. So we have both tote bag tillers going at once. And we have the forklift here. Lifting over. Hey, Ray. <laughs> so this is our setup here for uh, loading tote bags. We lift them up with the forks, lift them up over this hopper, and then we're able to unload the potatoes into the hopper. And then they will go into the polisher and down the line the way they normally do. So these are all the little potatoes we're working on today. And we're going to do 21 pallets of these. I'm not sure how many of these we have in storage, but it is a lot. So this will be good. Uh, we've got tote bags, fillers going right here. And Max is over here doing 20s. So occasionally with the new tech, there is a little bit of a margin of error on the machine, which is why we always have somebody standing over at the, the bone pack. So occasionally we have some chefs that are coming out here. So I'm not sure how many bags tote bags we've emptied already but we've got you know just a few few 20 pound chefs on this pallet over here uh, yeah so that's what we're getting into today to see all of the little potatoes in the polisher up here. They're 
on. <laughs> So one of the things that we're doing with this is, you see the tote bags that are hanging up here that we're emptying out. We are able to take the empty ones over there and reuse them over here, which is nice so that we don't have to uh, have so many in stock. Kind of works out well so we can keep reusing them inside the building. All right, guys. So this is where these uh, bees are coming from. We are back in the old storage here. <laughs> so we're back here and I think all the boxes are back here. Yeah. So this whole thing is full of boxes, this whole bin. Four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, three and four. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> if I could count today, that would be nice. So that's where we're getting these uh, boxes from. You saw that pallet box dumper. Uh, that's an old piece of equipment that we have. Um, <laughs> we need to kind of maybe revamp it a little bit, but it's still working all right, so we still use it. Uh, but, you know, we could we could probably make it work a little bit better, it kind of spills potatoes a little bit. But this is where these are coming from. So we're starting to get through this stuff that we had box, boxed up from, I think this stuff is from around December, maybe a little bit earlier. And that's where these are coming from. And, I know it's hard for you guys to see this, but all of these are chefs over here. A bunch of chefs in here. I'll see if maybe I can turn the lights on in a little bit and show you guys what we've got going on in here. Yeah, so we still got lots of potatoes to bag. Hi. Uh, that huh? Yeah, it's, it's kind of... Do you have a light? Tote bags back here. So Shane's actually using that Olight to count the tote bags, which is super cool. It has that uh, laser pointer on her, which is nice. <laughs> Can you hold this for a second? <laughs> or one or the other. All right, I think that's, that's good. Thanks. Are we done in there? managing to fall on the ground over here. I think they're just really small. I do not know where they're coming from though, but they just keep appearing down here.
guys, I want to show you what I'm taking out here. So this is the stuff that I'm taking out up here. All of these potatoes have been sized already, but I'm taking out the green stuff. Um, this coloration here is light struck. So what that means is the potato was exposed to uh, too much light. Um, sometimes it's just a light green and then after that it, it will turn into this pink color. Okay. All right, somebody in the store, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what's going on today at the farm. And uh, David's coming back with some seed today. I think that we're going to end up getting like five loads of seed to cut. I will show you guys that process. There's been quite a few questions about uh, the seed cutting process. So I'm actually a little bit new to that process, too. I mean, I've seen them do it, but I haven't actually really like worked a full day cutting seed. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate your comments. Uh, I am going to try and put together some clips for a blooper reel. It probably will take me a little while, so thank you for the input on that. And yeah, I mean, this has been a lot of fun doing these videos for you guys. these little potatoes on the floor and you see them falling here Let's see if I can catch this so occasionally a potato will get stuck in between the little grooves in the light and then when it hits one of these return wheels that's when the potato falls And that is what is causing the potatoes on the ground over here. Nothing really we could do about that. Um, it's just because they're little little potatoes. So uh, these belts, they have grooves in them because they because of that wheel there, the return roller. So we just have to clean them up. <laughs> that's it for today so we will be back at this uh, in a couple days I think it's gonna be nice out tomorrow so we'll do some stuff outside tomorrow and then uh, we're gonna back again Tuesday whatever days that are rainy out those are the days we're gonna be bagging inside so I'll catch you guys on the next one